Hello guys. Welcome to the fourth episode of my HBM NTM Ultimate Survival Guide. In this episode I will show you the process of oil production and processing. First of all we need to locate the oil, the oil reservoir detector will help you. To craft the oil detector you need two gold wires, three steel plates, two industrial grade copper and one advanced circuit which is crafted in the assembly machine using insulator, gold powder, for red copper wires and an enhanced circuit. And to craft the enhanced circuit you will need copper plate, quartz powder, for copper wires and a basic circuit, and the basic circuit is made from a basic circuit assembly in the press or in the assembly machine. I will recommend you to make a lot of different circuits because of their annoying step-by-step -step crafts. When you finished making the oil detector right click while holding the detector. There are three possible responses. No oil detected means that there are no oil deposits nearby. Oil detected nearby means that there are an oil deposit nearby, keep searching. Oil deposit directly below means that there are oil deposit below you so you need to set up the oil production station there. HBM mod have three oil production stations. The cheap one, the oil derrick. The expensive one, the pump jack. And the one you don't need, the hydraulic fracking tower. You will need the oil derrick. It crafted in the assembly machine using 20 steel scaffolds which is crafted with only steel ingots, 8 steel beams, 2 steel tanks made with steel and titanium plates, 1 motor, three steel pipes which is crafted with three steel blocks, six red copper wires and a titanium drill made with two steel ingots, two high-speed steel ingots, two high-speed steel bolts that is made with two high-speed steel ingots, and six titanium plates. Now place you oil derrick directly above an oil deposit. The derrick will produce crude oil and natural gas. But before we start the production, let's put storages for the oil and the gas. There are two types of fluid and gas storages in the mod. Different types of barrels, we will not use them due to their low capacity. Tank, we will use them because they can hold up to 256 buckets or 256,000 millibuckets of something that is not antimatter. And the big ass tank 9000 that can hold up to 2048 buckets of something or 2,048,000 of something that is not antimatter. We will use tanks, you will need 6 of those. They are crafted using 2 steel ingots, 6 steel plates and 4 big steel shells that is made of 6 steel ingots each. Let's place the tanks near the oil derrick. This button sets the input settings. The blue icon means only input, the green icon means both input and output, the orange icon means only output and the gray icon means no input nor output. Now let's connect the oil derrick to the tanks. We will use fluid ducts. Let's craft the universal fluid ducts using 4 steel plates and 2 aluminium plates. The fluid ducts act like cables but for fluids, and you can use the sealed fluid ducts as well similar to the copper cable blocks. Now when we connected the fluid ducts from the oil derrick to the tanks we need to identify what fluid we want to transport in the ducts. The fluid identifier will help us with this. To craft the fluid identifier you will need to use the template folder. Make sure you have iron plate and any dye in your inventory. Let's make two fluid identifiers for crude oil and natural gas and right-click each identifier to every duct. Now we can produce crude oil, but we need as well a way to process the oil. For this we will use the oil refinery, which is crafted using these materials, 
the heating coil is crafted with iron ingot and tungsten wires. The oil refinery will process hot crude oil, so let's make the boiler to heat up our crude oil. The craft is very easy. Great! Now let's connect the crude oil tank to the boiler and connect the boiler to the oil refinery, but we need to define that the hot crude oil will go from the boiler to the oil refinery. Don't forget to set the crude oil tank to the input and output setting to work properly. The oil refinery will process hot crude oil into naphtha, light oil, heavy oil and petroleum gas so let's place four more tanks near the oil refinery and connect the fluid ducts, make sure to define the fluid type for each. Now we can finally get our setup to work. Please provide the oil derrick with electricity, the geothermal electric generator will be just perfect. When to oil derrick will start to work it will dig and lay a pipe underneath to access the oil deposit. When the pipe will reach the oil deposit the oil derrick will start to process the crude oil and the natural gas. Remember to heat the boiler using flammable fuel and to power up the oil refinery. That's it. Now you can product and process oil with the HBM and TM mod. You will also get sulfur from the oil refinery. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment your thoughts about this guide, and feel free to ask about this complicated process. See you in the next video.